Hello, on the 10th of September 2023, this guy by name Ejika Wilson connived with his younger brother Paul Wilson and one 54 year old man by name Olatoye Oluwale to force his 24 year old son Lucky Wilson to undergo a surgery to remove his hunchback in order to extract mercury out of his hunchback to use for satanic ritualistic purpose. This all happened in Port Harcourt River State. Now, guys, please stay with me as I unveil fresh details on this true crime story. If you're new here, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Please subscribe so that we can get up to a thousand subscriptions. And don't forget to like by that this video can go viral. And also, do not forget to share, share, share this true crime story with your family members and friends to create awareness about this true crime story. Without further ado, let's get into this crime story. When Lucky Wilson, 24 year old son of A.G.K. Wilson, was born, his father expressed his hate about the fact that his son was born with a hunchback. He despised him so badly up to the extent he had threatened him at his very young age that he was going to kill him. At one point in time when his son, Lucky Wilson with the hunchback, was around 5 years old, his father, A.G.K. Wilson, had attempted to sell him to those who do ritualistic killings in order to use the money which he had sold his son to do something better for himself. This is all according to his confession by the news report immediately after he was being arrested by the police. So his attempt to sell his five-year-old hunchback son to ritualistic people had failed. He withdrew his plan to sell his five-year-old hunchback son for ritualist purpose. Before Lucky Wilson could reach up to 24 years old, he had expressed his disdain towards his hunchback son. At times he would call him useless and that he does not know why he is in his life. That he came into his life to trouble him and according to the news report lucky wilson will feel so bad when his father kept on telling him this that he is so useless because of the fact that he had a hunchback which had caused him to be disabled his uncle paul wilson had heard from one mr olatoye oluwale that that mercury can be extracted from a person who had got hunchback and that mercury extracted out of that hunchback could be sold for 10 million naira Immediately, Lucky Wilson's uncle heard that from Mr. Olatoye. He immediately told Mr. Olatoye that he's got a hunchback nephew. And Mr. Olatoye told him that he should go tell his brother, the father of the nephew, that if they can bring the young boy and the hunchback can be cut off from the 24 year old boy, Lucky Wilson, out of the 24 year old's back, that mercury can be sold for close to 10 million naira. So Paul Wilson immediately went to Lucky Wilson's father, Ejike Wilson, and told him about the deal. Since as A.G.K. Wilson hated his son, Lucky Wilson, he never really cared about his son's safety. He immediately went and saw Mr. Olatoye Oluwale. And 54-year-old Olatoye Oluwale told them that he is not sure that Lucky Wilson, but he is not sure that Lucky Wilson will survive after, after the surgical operation of the hunchback. That he is going to die in the process. But the good thing is, 10 million will be given to them after the mercury has been extracted out of the hunchback. Mr. A.G.K. Wilson never really cared. To him, Lucky Wilson was a burden and a disgrace towards him. So he never really cared if Lucky Wilson died or not. All he wanted was the 10 million naira, which will be gotten out of the mercury, which is being extracted out of Lucky Wilson's hunchback. Mr. A.G.K. Wilson knowing very well that if this hunchback is being taken out of his 24-year-old Lucky Wilson's son's back, the son was going to die. He came forward and convinced the 24-year-old that, you know, his hunchback, which has been a body, can be taken away, can be extracted away through surgery. And that after the surgery, he will be so fine and no longer disabled. And after Lucky Wilson heard that, he was so happy that finally, finally, his father had seen a place where his hunchback could be removed. He will no longer be disabled and, his, and the hate which his father had for him because of his hunchback will turn into love. So... Mr. A.G.K. Wilson, Paul Wilson, his brother, and Mr. Olatoye Oluwale, plus Lucky Wilson, decided to go to this place in Ogon, to this ritualist at Abiyokota, Ogon State, to carry out the surgical procedures to remove Lucky Wilson's hunchback, so that they can extract the mercury out of the hunchback and sell for 10 million naira, not even caring if Lucky Wilson would survive or not. They just wanted the 10 million naira cash. So they traveled along with Lucky Wilson right up to the place at Ogon State, Abiyokota. Lucky Wilson went into the ritualist surgical ward, hoping that he is going to come out of that surgical ward with his hunchback gone away and he will no longer be disabled and he will finally find love from his father. His father stood out of the surgical ward, watching his son getting into the surgical ward, wishing that his son wouldn't come back alive and that the hunchback should be extracted out of his son's back 
and the mercury extracted out of the hunchback so that he can get the 10 million naira and split with his brother and Mr. Olatoye Oluwale. They can go live their life happily, not caring about his son's survival. And unfortunately, Lucky Wilson entered inside the ritualistic surgical ward and never came back alive. The hunchback was surgically removed and Lucky Wilson died. The mercury was extracted and 10 million naira was given to Lucky Wilson's father, E.G.K. Wilson. His father came back to Port Harcourt where he lived and his family members started asking him about the whereabouts of his 24-year-old son, Lucky Wilson. So he couldn't give an account of his 24-year-old son whom he had travelled with in the knowing of his entire family members that the 24-year-old boy was going to go through a surgical procedure for his hunchback to be removed. And now he returned back without the boy. He couldn't even tell his family members that the boy had died during the surgical procedure and that he had gotten 10 million naira. He kept it a secret. His family members started mounting pressure on him, kept on asking him, where is the whereabouts of Lucky Wilson? We travelled with Lucky Wilson to Abiokota, Oregon State for the surgical procedure to alleviate him from that hunchback which he had. Where is Lucky Wilson? He couldn't give any reasonable answer. So his family members, including his wife, immediately reported him to the Port Harcourt police. The Port Harcourt police immediately arrested him and started questioning him and he revealed that he had taken his 24 year old son to this surgical ritualistic place for a ritualistic surgery to be carried out upon his 24 year old son to alleviate him from his hunchback and make it to be extracted out of that hunchback and in return he will be paid with 10 million naira he is right now being arrested his younger brother paul wilson has also been arrested and 54 year old mr olatoye oluwale who brought the deal to paul wilson his brother so guys, I'll let you get your thoughts down at the comment section. This is the most evil thing I've ever come across since doing true crime stories. This is so evil. An innocent boy who is 24 years old. As a father, you hated him because of his hunchback. Did he ask for a hunchback? Before coming to this world, did he demand himself that he wanted to have this hunchback to put this bondage upon you of being disabled throughout his life so that you, the father, can support him financially? He didn't ask for it. Nature gave him this hunchback. You would have shown this child of yours so much love, but you showed him so much hate up to the extent you were willing to lie to him about this ritualistic surgical procedure, saying that he's going, this surgical procedure is going to elevate him from his hunchback. And he was so happy that finally he is going to be free of this bondage of hunchback, of which that was not the case. You intentionally lied to him so that he could go through this process, this surgical process, which he was not going to survive. And he was going to die through. You never cared if he died. All you wanted was mercury should be extracted out of the hunchback so that you could be given 10 million naira. It is crazy. This is the most evil thing in the world. I believe that this man should not be given life imprisonment. His brother, Paul Wilson, should not be given life imprisonment. And Mr. Olatoye Oluwale, who brought the deal to them, should not be given life imprisonment. They should all be given the death penalty. Or they should be set on fire to burn so that you can go to hell and rot there burning for life to eternity this is crazy why would you be so evil to your own child i cannot just imagine the pain the suffering the shame you know the ridiculousness this hunchback boy lucky wilson went through as a child from his father being hated for no reason because you were born with a hunchback so Something which you had no part of. Something which nature gave it to you. Guys, what do you all think? I'd like to get your thoughts down in the comment section. Now, I'd like for you to subscribe, like, comment, and share so that we can get up to a thousand subscriptions. And guys, do not forget to click on that YouTube profile so that you can watch other true crime stories in my YouTube profile. I love you all, but know Jesus Christ loves you more. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.